friends, it's Grace here at The Comfy Nest with Grace. Getting ready to bring you some crafty inspiration. You guys, I got my love shirt on, the one that we made the other day. I'm so excited about it. In fact, before I get anything on it, I better go grab my apron, right? Because I don't want to be getting uh, any paint or glue or anything on the new shirt that we did the other day. So um, I'm going to grab this feed on my iPad to make sure that I can see it and then I'm going to grab an apron. If you all don't mind, I will do that because I, I don't want to mess up my new shirt. And I think you guys might be a little too close. <laughs> don't take offense. I just want to make sure you can see my table. Let's get that light off because I want you to be able to see what we're working on today. Yes, it's going to be fun. Hello, hello everybody. Good morning. Who has coffee? I'm still working on coffee. I just I just made another cup for our little time together. Look at all those hearts, Miss Cindy. Hearts right back at you, friend. Hello, good morning. Hey, Mary. How are you, Tex? The FF. There's my friend Susan in Louisiana. Hello, dear. And Phyllis is here. She needs a distraction today. Let me be your distraction. We're gonna use this Dollar Tree heart to do something fun, but with a napkin. So anybody in the Napkin Lovers Club, if you're here from the Napkin Lovers Club, if you're one of the members of that group, give me a Heidi Ho. <laughs> give me an NLC, Napkin Lovers Club. Give me the NLC in the comments. Um, we're gonna be working with the same napkin we used the other night from your newest box of supplies that you got. Um, but let me do all the things, you guys. Hold on, I got all the screens here. The Comfy Nest is live. Yes, I am. Let me grab this feed here and grab it here. Oh, you guys, all the technology. How did my, like, my Facebook disappeared here? Good morning, Wanda. Text BFF. I see an NLC. Melissa, I don't remember. Please don't take offense. I don't remember. Were you with us the other night when we had our first craft session for this quarter's box? We used the Oh Happy Day napkin. Oh, happy day. Um, I'm going to use it again in a different way to show you guys a new way to use it. There's more napkin lovers. There's Diana and there's Terry. Thanks giving me that shout out there so I know that you guys are here. Um, hello, hello, oh, wait. Lovers. This is the Ready? wrong. Oh, look, Take that's bringing. This is bringing. Shush it. Here. Shush it, girl. <laughs> this is bringing me to. Um, I got to shush myself up. The napkin lovers coming. That's not where I want to be. Facebook. I want to be with me now. <laughs> oh, Lordy Lord. I need. So we talk about my. Um, there it is. There it is. I found Susan it. Susan in Louisiana. There it is. I found it. Yay! And there's 56 of you here already. We're going to get our groove on. I am here as part of. I got so much to tell you. Breathe, Grace. I'm here as part of the Craft Round the Clock group. I'm one of the hostesses in that group. And what that means is there is a whole lot of us. Like, I don't even know how many. There's got to be close, I would guess, 60, 70, maybe even more. I'm not sure. Creative business owners who take part in this program called Craft Round the Clock. We have a TV, a, um, TV channel that Tracy put together for us, Tracy Camel. And on, you can get it on Roku and like if you have a fire stick, you can get to Craft Around the Clock TV. Um, so you will find lots of creative people sharing lots of different kinds of projects in this free group here on Facebook. I gave you the link in the description, so if you want to join, you sure can. Don't do it now because you'll miss out on our fun. But as soon as I'm done, get on over there. Um, today's schedule is really full. Usually it's about 10, 12 hours of crafting every single day pretty much that you can count on. Um, her goal is to get crafting around the clock for you guys and it's called craft round the clock. Not around, but just round the clock. Okay, thank you for sprinkling, Miss Tracy. Yeah, if you guys can share this, hit that little share button. If you're willing and able, it's in the lower left corner, it should be, I would really appreciate it. Or what you could do is um, like click on the screen and just get your notifications set so that you get notifications when I go live. Denise, I did one. I have not been submitting videos for the TV. I just don't have time. I just don't have time. But I go live every week here in the group here on Facebook. So I have done one. Um, I have one video on the TV's um, channel, but I, I, you know, I don't have time, unfortunately. But it's available for those of, for those creative business owners that want to do it that way. Hey, Terry Mertens. 
Melissa loved the other night's Napkin Lovers Club project. So look at all those Napkin Lovers, NLCs. <laughs> those are all members of the, the, the quarterly subscription box. And we um, used this napkin. They got this napkin in their box the other day. Um, and actually, we used the surface that they got in their box. We used the craft supplies that they got in their box to create this pretty the other day. I'm going to show you a different way to use that napkin on this Dollar Tree um, little heart frame. Um, so I think we're all set to get started with the craft. Almost done with Lola. And oh, happy day is on my desk to get started. Joy, Napkin Lovers Club member. She is getting ready to do her projects. We we have a journal and we have a napkin journal in there. And I do, we do sessions on how to use napkins in your art journaling because I love that. And if you love it too, you might really enjoy the group. <laughs> good morning, Miss Lisa. Hello, good morning. I love saying hello to you guys, but I do, I, I gotta get to the craft too. So let's get started. Let's just get started. Let me grab my apron. Hang tight, girls. Guys and girls, are there any guys out there? Are there any men joining us? You are so welcome to. It's just that over here at the Crafty Chicks community here at the Comfy Nest, over here, let me get my apron on, girls, I'm trying. Over here on the Crafty, um, in the Crafty Chicks community, it's generally women. So men, it's not that I'm excluding you. It's not at all that I'm excluding you. I just... I'm just talking to my peeps, <laughs> my girls. All right, let's see. I'm going to, oh, I was telling my husband, I was lamenting about my little um, camera holder thingy because it, it's just trouble lately, like everything else. Okay, you're not going to see me. You're going to see the project and that's the way it should be. All right, let's see this project. So I have some paints picked out um, based on the color of the napkin. I have this napkin we used the other night. We used just a portion of it. So I'm gonna use the rest of it to make this frame really pretty because I love, love, love this floral. I just think it's so beautiful. So we're gonna start with that and I'm just going to decoupage that onto this wood using my favorite decoupage medium. Tony says, I love Grace. She's so fun to watch. Yay. Thank you for saying that, Terry. Hearts to you, my friend. And thank you for fluffing the nest, Miss Marilyn. You guys are so helpful. So helpful when you do that. I was explaining recently that if you're not able, you know, you can't, we only have so much money, right? I'm the same way. We only have so much money. And if you're not able to purchase from every single um, crafter creator that you see online, I mean, give me a break. I would love to buy from everybody, but I have limited income too. So I watch everybody. I love watching all the creatives. And that's one way to support them is to watch them. Obviously, if you were a member of their club, you're you're providing income for them, their family. That's, that's how we as creatives earn our income. Um, but if you can't do that, if you're not able, because your, your money only goes so far, you can really support our business by sharing our videos and commenting. Strangely enough, commenting on every post that we post, even if it's just, wow, that's really cool, or oh my gosh, I didn't know that, or love that you shared this, or ha ha. Like if you comment and you also share our posts, you are basically helping us um, meet new people and expand our reach because the more that we get those kinds of reactions, likes, comments, and shares, those three things, likes, comments, and shares, the more that we get those on our pages from you, the more Facebook will show our stuff to more like new people who may in turn purchase from us, which helps our business. It helps me earn income. So thank you, thank you to all of you who like, follow, share, comment, all those things because they're all incredibly important. Um, you know, and I say it's a way for us to organically meet people. It's just a natural way for us to meet new people. We can pay for advertising, and I do. I pay for advertising on Facebook, but it's not nearly as powerful for me as a small business owner as your recommendation, which is where the like, follow, comment, share comes in. So there's my little, my little spiel on that. I'm pouncing my napkin in. I did not paint this. It's a very light colored wood. Um, and my background on my napkin is a really soft, creamy, like yellowish white. I don't even know what you call it, like a creamy color. <laughs> and so I didn't paint it because I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. 
it's, it's, it's very similar to the color of the background of the napkin, and it's bright enough that we can see that napkin design so pretty on there. We don't need to reinforce with more color, more paint color. Deborah meets, loves meeting new people. Yeah, the, the, the craft clubs, the membership groups, and the, even the free communities, like I have my own little free craft community here. Those are great ways to meet new other creative people, people who love to create and craft. Thank you, Angela. This is from the Napkin Lovers Club this month. This is one of the 15 napkins that they got, along with the four surfaces. Well, they got two surfaces and they got two craft supplies. Ha ha and wow. Yeah, I love the ha ha and wow, right, Charlotte? It's the way. So Charlotte is another creative sister, creative business friend. Charlotte, please feel free creative business sister, drop your link to your business in the comments because the crafty chicks over here are super supportive, sweet, kind, generous people. And I know that they'll, some of them will head over to your page um, and, and follow you, Char. Oh, my earring fell out. They'll follow you, they'll like, they'll haha, -ha, they'll comment just to help. I mean, it's it's super great way to just help. Do we have 128 people, Denise? I just saw that flash across my screen. We better get some names in the happy mail basket. Jumping in, what are we using on the board to secure the napkin? Very new to decoupage and Kelly. It's my favorite decoupage medium for napkins and thin mediums, thin, thin things that you're gonna decoupage. And every member of the Napkin Lovers Club gets two ounces of this stuff with a pouncing brush as a welcome gift in their first box. Um, it is a Liquitex liquid medium. It's a matte finish medium that I use on my napkins. So there's the answer to that question. Should we add some names to the prize basket? You guys, I'm gonna need more than 45 minutes. We, <laughs> we get a set amount of time um, when we're doing this for Craft Around the Clock because, and, and, and it's it makes perfect sense and it's I totally, I'm totally down with that because there's somebody lined up in the group right after me and I don't wanna infringe on her or his time because we do have a couple of men in there too. Um, but let's get some names in the prize basket. I'm gonna pull the very first person who commented here was Denise Anderson. Denise, your name's going in the prize basket. Is today the 28th, you guys? It is, right? Oh, Lordy Lord, it's almost the end of the month. Denise, first person here, first person to comment, your name's in the prize basket. I generally, with the number of people who are here, I pull names from the comments to add to the prize basket, and I just randomly scroll through the comments. So you would have to comment in order for me to grab your name. The next one that I'm seeing is Tracy Sipling, another crafty chick, crafty chick in the house, 1, 28, 22. I will also pull a name from the replay watchers. And then a couple times a month, I pull randomly pull names from this basket and send people craft supplies or maybe a finished good for me, a finished project. Then next one up is Marilyn Whiting. She said, good morning, Grace. Marilyn Whiting is here. Hello, hello, my friend. Marilyn, your name is going in the basket. So you guys keep hitting that share button. The more that you do that, people will naturally just pop right on because you share it, your feed shows to your friends. They'll see it and they'll say, what is this girl doing with a napkin? And they may hop on and join us. That's how that works. All right, let's finish with this napkin decoupage. Oh, I ran out of napkin. I'm laying on a napkin. This napkin is completely gone. No worries. I got another one because I was telling the girls who are in the club, or maybe I was telling the crafty chicks the other night in late night crafting live. Um, I have thousands of napkins in my house. Thousands. I mean, really, we would never, if there was a napkin shortage, we have the prettiest napkins for our dinner table. <laughs> because of the Napkin Lovers Club and all the ordering I do for those folks. When you're working with napkins, you definitely need to separate your plies. I only need a, like a little chunk of this, actually. I don't need the whole thing, but you wanna separate your plies because there's usually two or three plies to your napkins um, and you don't want your, your projects bubbling up. So you wanna make sure for you're separating those napkins. And I go over all of that inside the Napkin Lovers Club with our little regular craft sessions, live craft sessions in there. So we cover all the techniques and tricks for using napkins. So I'm wetting this all up. And you know what? These kinds of wood, I think it's birch wood, these kind of wood surfaces, they really suck up paint and glue and stuff. So I, I did put quite a bit on there. I'm hoping this is gonna be big enough to cover. And actually, I really like that pink one, but I don't want two pink ones right next to each other. Let's do this. 
Oh, and I don't like this. It has a little bit of a seam on it. Did I put my scissors away? I'm just gonna chop off that seam because I don't want that to show on my napkin. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, it's gonna be a stretch, girls, but I think we can do it. Yeah, baby, we got it all the way. It's all the way on there. I love it. I could overlap that, but I don't want to right there. So I'm gonna chop that while I'm at it with the scissors. I might as well. I'm gonna chop some of that off. I'm not being incredibly precise uh, because I don't feel like I need to be. It's a pattern. It's a patterned napkin with lots of florals and the florals are, um, you know, randomly placed all over the napkin. So I'm totally fine with the pattern. It's not repeating there. And if that red overlaps that pink, I'm totally good with that. Okay, here we go. Now we got that in place. I need just a little more glue right here where I missed. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let this dry because we need to let it dry before we do anything else with it. And in the meantime, we're gonna get the center part ready. There's gonna be a little part in the middle. So it came with a little heart. Where did I put it, girls? This is what was in the middle, this little cardboard it's cute, little pair of feet, <laughs> little baby feet. I'm gonna use this board to create the little phrase for the center. I'm just gonna use the opposite side of this. Um, so I'm gonna paint it. Yes, I'm gonna paint it. And then, and then we're gonna put some, a pretty phrase on it. Good morning, Vicki. Hello, Jen Russo, text BFF. Um, Jennifer, you just texted me something and I was like, oh, what the what? my text BFF, Jennifer. All these text BFFs, that means they're on my texting service. And my texting service, the number's right there. If you want live alerts when I go live, get on the texting service. If you want to know when there's sales, specials, VIP bundle kits that I put together, get on the texting service. That's especially for Chaka Tour with the VIP bundles. Um, if you want to know when there's a sale in my shop with napkins or craft supplies, or if there's something new in the shop, get on the text list. The text list is two-way, so I can text all of you something that's going on here, and sometimes I do like <laughs> behind-the-scenes stuff here at the Kurtz family, but some you guys can text me back, which I love, and that's why I call you my text BFFs, because I text you more than I even text my own family, actually. But Jennifer just texted me like, I got Brenda at three, and I'm like, what? Like, I think maybe you texted the wrong person, Jennifer. I was thinking to myself, what the what is she talking about? But I didn't have time to ask because I came live. So what the what, girlfriend? What you talking about? All right, let's paint my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm going to paint it. Let me get a little craft mat so I don't get paint all over my table. Oh, it's dirty. Sorry. It is what it is. I have this beautiful olive green color, a huge vat of it. Um, but it's a little bit dark for what I want. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of this. It's just a soft yellowy white. It's called Vanilla Ice Cream from Apple Barrel and it's really old. I've had it for a very long time. But I'm going to add a little bit of that to a little bit of this to make my olive green somewhat brighter. I don't want it quite so dark. And now maybe that's too much. <laughs> okay. Okay, dokie, schmookie. No problem. We're going to just grab my little palette knife and get some more of that green. That's not a problem. We got this, girls. We can figure this out. Now, I debated whether I should gesso this because... All right, let's talk about that in a minute. Let me do the paint thing, and then we'll talk about the gesso. Because I'm all about teaching you guys skills so that when you attack your projects, even if it's a Dollar Tree project, you have success. There's nothing worse than putting something together and then being like, well, that didn't work. Like, product fail. Those two things didn't work together. Um, so this... This thing on this side, you can see it's got a sheen. It's shiny. If I wanted to paint that side, then I, I should gesso that because your paint is just going to slip and slide all over that um, because it's got a, like a shiny cover to it. This side, however, is matte. It's just paper. It's just like a cardstock paper. So I don't really need to gesso it because this paint is going to just absorb right into that paper heart. If I painted the other side though, yes, cover with primer. Otherwise your paint's just gonna slip and slide right off of your project, probably even as you're painting it. Okay, so my color um, 
little project here, lightening that really worked. That's that's about what I was going for. Now, I don't wanna to touch that with my finger. I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife, I do this all the time, so that I don't have to hold that in place with my finger and get paint all over my finger and fingerprints on my project. So I just usually use one of my X-Acto knives. You can see it's got stuff all over it because I use it as like a, a holder. <laughs> now this is paper and the wetness from the paint is making it curl up a little bit, but no worries because when you put it in your project, I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay in place. Um, but we could even reinforce that. So I'm not totally worried about that. We could add a little piece of cardboard or cardstock to the back. Fluff in the nest. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you for sprinkling, Jennifer. There's Donna Campbell sprinkling. You guys are the best. Thank you, thank you. That what they're saying when they say sprinkle is that they are sharing. So they're using they're using that little share button to help me meet new crafty chicks that might be out there in the world and wanting to see some inspirational projects. Me too, Deborah. I love meeting new people. I'm really behind on comments though. Um, just got on. What color is the green? It's called Annie Sloan. It's Annie Sloan chalk paint and it's the color olive. Oh, I'm going to try to hold that up, but it's going to get Annie Sloan chalk paint color is olive. I've had it for ages and ages because I used to paint furniture. I no longer paint furniture. I mean, I do every once in a while, but not like I used to. Um, thank you for sprinkling, Cindy. Nancy says, super fun, yay. Thank you for sprinkling. And you too, Dana and Penny, you guys are the best. You are the bomb.com. Um, Southern Indiana in the house, this is Dana. Where is everybody coming in from? And please, replay or not, replay or live, um, when you come on, please say hi. I'm gonna dry this while I tell you that because please say hi and let me know if you're new because I, we, we, not just me, but even the other regular crafty chicks, we love to greet newbies. We love, love, love to let the new folks know that you are so welcome here. It's just a really casual, cool place to hang out, be inspired, learn techniques, learn about new tools and supplies that you could add to your toolbox. I'm so passionate about teaching those things. <laughs> I was drying this, you guys. You probably couldn't see it because I moved the camera so I could make eye contact. I was drying it and the paper flew over to the side and hit my little vat of paint. So now I got this little paint smear right there. Actually, actually, should we work that paint schmear right into the project? Wow, hold on, we might be onto something here. It was the lighter color. You can see it paint schmeared right there on the edge right there. Well, what if we just dry brushed a little bit of that color? Let's get a new brush and add just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of paint to it. And we'll dry brush just a little, because I, I like it and I like this movement side, to, like the way I brush the strokes there diagonally. So I'm gonna stick with that. I don't know, why not? And all I'm doing is super lightly dragging that brush with a little bit of white. Do you see it? It's really faint. It's really faint. I'm gonna be putting a phrase on here and I don't want this to compete with the letters for the phrase. However, I like the dry brushing. I think it's kind of cool. I got, something just fell off my desk randomly. It happens all the time. Crash, boom, bang, here we are at the comfy nest. Things are falling all over the place. I just want it to be super light. So I'm taking the lightest color over here that it didn't even blend in with the green, but it's, this, it's that vanilla ice that I used in this project. And I'm just lightly, lightly. And actually what's pretty cool about this, it's, it's highlighting the brush strokes of the chalk paint because chalk paint's pretty thick. And so it's actually drawing out the texture of the paintbrush from the chalk paint, which I like because it, it's making it look grungy. It's making it look mucked up. <laughs> We're mucking it up, girls. All right, so look, it's super faint. Nothing real like crazy here. And actually, you may not see it. I, I'm tempted to go around the edges and just hit it to give it a little frame because I like the look of that. However, 
This is gonna get popped into a frame and so we're not gonna see the edges, so it's not necessary. Okay, now that that's done, you saw how it curled up. All I had to do to curl it back to make it straight was just bend it. I mean, we're back in business, girls. It curled up a lot when we added all that paint to it, but now it's in good shape. All right, I'm gonna get this out of here. Get it out of here, because it's dirty and I don't want it all over my project and all over me. And we're gonna do this now. Okay, let's see. Penny's saying hello, happy Friday. It is Friday, isn't it? Sprinkle the love. Thank you, girls. You guys are so awesome. Is your mat, you can wash it and use it over and over. Janice, yes, it is. It's a Teflon mat, so it's heat resistant. So any glue, hot glue that I get on there or any glue, everything just comes right off of it in my Amazon store. In my Amazon store. I love when a boo-boo turns into good stuff. Dana, you're my kind of girl. You are my kind of girl. I'm at 164? What? Let's add a couple more names. Michelle Made Low, you're the one who told me that and that's the comment that like says, okay, we need to add more names to the prize basket. So Michelle, I'm putting your name in the prize basket, but let me grab another one. Jeez, Louise, thanks for being here, you guys. It makes me so happy. I'm honored, I'm truly honored, like seriously that you would come on over and hang out with me and see what I'm doing, um, just just for the fun of it. So thank you for doing that. Next name that I see is Cheryl Woods Disney. Oh, Cheryl's asking, what is the text number? Cheryl, let me get your name written down so I don't mess it up. You've got two L's at the end, Woods Disney. Welcome, and I'll get you that text number here in a second. Um, let me say, I announced the winners for the Happy Mail in the Crafty Chicks Club. That's my free craft community. Cheryl, your name's going in. So don't forget. Can you see that number behind me, Cheryl? Don't forget to join that group. It's just my free craft community where we hang out and share our project photos and stuff. So take a snapshot. There it is, Miss Cheryl. That's all for you, Miss Cheryl. You ask, I deliver. Okay, there we go. You're all welcome to join. Just text the word alerts to me there, um, and then it'll get you on the, like, the general craft alerts. Okay, this. I am going to chalk on this. I am going to use chalk couture. Look what I got. Me some pretty phrases. Look at how cute. They're jar cutouts, but I'm not using the jars. I just want the phrase. So I'm going to cut this bad boy in half and I'm just going to use the phrase. Okay, so these are adhesive. They are reusable, washable with water. I'm going to fuzz it, which means I'm just going to add a little fuzz to it and then I'm going to put it on my paper and we're going to we're going to put this phrase. It's you guys, if you have you seen this before, this stuff chalk door. It's um like a silk screen stencil. We call them transfers. I need to first prep this little, I can't just go right in on paper because the adhesive will stick to the paper and paint and it may pull it off and we don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna grab my wax, which I forgot to do. Oh, it's right behind me. I'm gonna grab some my, my wax and I'm gonna put a little wax onto my little paper heart so that it doesn't stick so strongly that it pulls up my paper, if you know what I mean. That would be, that would be bad. So I'm gonna take a little piece of shop towel, a little bit of wax. Let's hope that I, uh, you could, and you could, for a paper project like this, you actually could use, and it probably would be easier now that I think of it. Now that I'm already into the wax, it's too late. Um, it would probably be easier if you just went ahead and added um, like Mod Podge or some kind of, um, Mod Podge would work on your paper. Mod Podge can be funny. It's, I have a love-hate relationship with Mod Podge. I use it to decoupage. I also use it as a top coat. I use it all the time in my art journal pages. But it sometimes just, it feels like a, like, a, like a naughty toddler who throws fits to me because sometimes it doesn't behave the way I want it to. <laughs> Let me just, I love it though. I'm not, no dissing on Mod Podge. I use it all the time. So clearly, it's not like I would, you know, what they say, throw the baby out with the bathwater. You just have to know how it works and then work within its limitations. That's the thing. So on paper projects, if you're top coating, I think Mod Podge is great. 
but for Chalk Couture, I, I don't like to use Mod Podge as my buffer. Um, we're just gonna stick this on here. I think I want it just straight. So can you just stay? It's it's so light, it's moving on me. Just stay there, baby doll. Let me see if a couple of little pieces of painter's tape will help. Yes, this is going by so stinking cute right there. Okay, I'll check comments here in a minute, girls, I promise. So this is sticky. I use the surface wax to protect my paper so it doesn't like rip my paper and the paint doesn't come off on the back of my um, my adhesive transfer. Hello, hello from Washington State, Miss Missy. Hello and welcome. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's 180 people here. Thank you, all 180 of you. Thank you for being here. It makes my heart so happy. It really does. <laughs> It makes me so happy. And when you say hello, Miss Missy, <laughs> I see you. When you guys say hello, it just, it, it brings my heart joy because I, that's how I get to know you. That's how you get to know me. I actually will know your names. I am very intentional about looking at the comments and using your names and trying to make eye contact. I know it's a little silly in the fact that I can't see you. That's why the craft memberships are so good because I get to see those girls and make eye contact and get to know them. But still, I'm using your name with intention, Miss Debbie Gross. Great analogy, she says. Thank you. I'm using your name with intention because I want you to know I see you and I thank you for being here. I just made something I saw you make. I have to put a messy bow on it. Ooh, fun, Michelle. Share it. Share it in one of the groups. Good morning from Wisconsin, Miss Susan. Hello, hello. First time watching. Welcome. Woo -woo. I live. Oh, good morning, Rhett. I have family in... Klamath Falls, you guys are chatting. I love it. Rhett James, I love your name. <laughs> Hello, Denise. Text BFF number, I just gave it to everybody. All right, so I'm just trying to catch up with comments. Vicki says, North Dakota is the place to be. Farm living is the life for us. Yes, Vicki is a North Dakota friend. I live in North Dakota. That's absolutely right. I grew up in Massachusetts. I went to college in Pennsylvania, but I live in North Dakota. Okay. I'm thinking gold. I don't know why, but I think gold would be very pretty. I just hope it shows up well enough on the green. That's the only thing is we might be challenged by that a little, but I'm going to try it anyway because I'm hopeful it's going to work, the gold. And if for some reason, if it doesn't, I, I can chalk right over it again, but I'm really hopeful that the gold is going to show up well enough because I would like to use gold in the other part of this project. So let's just... Let's just gold it up. We're making it golden. So I'm just using some chalk paste here and a squeegee. And you just squeegee it through the transfer or, you know, it's, you could use the word stencil, but at Chalk Couture, we call it a, an adhesive reusable transfer because we're transferring the paste through the design onto your surface, right? So that's why we call it a transfer. All right, I'm hoping this is gonna work. It really looks beautiful, except my F is not bold enough. <laughs> I put it back down because I need more F. <laughs> That's not funny. I need more F in my life. There we go. So I pull it up slowly because if there's something that isn't, that didn't come through. Oh, it looks great, except the top of my H I missed. If something didn't come through, I don't want to move that just like regular stenciling. If you needed to add more paint, um, you wouldn't want to move it because then it's off. It's not in the right place, right? And then your letters would be off when you reapplied more. It worked great and it looks great, you guys. All right, this is washable. It's still sticky. After you wash it, it will be still sticky, which blows my mind. I will wash it. I will put it back on the backing and then I will get to use it over and over again. But look at, look at our little heart. Let me get my papers off or my, pa um, my tape. Oh, you guys, it's so cute. And that is a shimmer paste. So it's a gold shimmer. Do you love it? Follow your heart, girls. Follow your heart. I just think it's so sweet. Let me see if you guys are seeing this. Have you guys tried this stuff before? Do I have a code for it? Listen, Chris, I'm gonna give you, give me a second here. I'm gonna, I knew somebody was gonna ask me if you haven't seen this before. I suspected someone was gonna say, hey, what is that stuff? I'm gonna give you some links. I'm going to give you a link right now that is, hold on, I'm just, I can't even reach my laptop here. 
Um, this first comment says, grab a try me kit. If you wanted to try this stuff out for yourself, I have a kit that's $7.95. Um, and you could grab that Try Me kit. It mails right to your door for $7.95 and you get everything you need to do a project. You're gonna get a tag, you're gonna get a squeegee, you're gonna get the paste, you get the little transfer, the little design, and you get a ribbon to hang your tag. It's a mini project, but it gives you a chance to try it. So I just gave you that link. Now I'm gonna give you in the comments the link to my free craft group just for that. And I did a demo last night. We did some like technique stuff in the group last night. And I have a, an awesome bundle that's available and it's only available through the weekend. Um, and it's an incredible value. In fact, Denise is gonna grab one. I saw Denise is here. She's getting one today. Um, so if you wanna try this stuff out, if you never used it, you wanna try it out. It's a great, listen, Chocotour, it's its own system. I'm grabbing, hold on girls, I'm grabbing a, a little block, sanding block to get all of this napkin off of here. Chocotour is a fantastic system all by itself. Surfaces, even fabric surfaces. We have both permanent ink and erasable chalk. And the chalk is erasable on chalkboards. That's how the company started five years ago when I started as a designer, right when the company started, almost five years ago. It was erasable chalk paste for chalkboards. That's how they started. Since then, we have wood surfaces, fabric surfaces. We've got big surfaces. We got little surfaces. We got it all. So you could just use the chalk system, but I love incorporating it into what I'm already doing. I don't want to just do chalk. I want it. I want it all. You know that song? <laughs> I want it all. It's like a rock song. Yeah, Gracie wants it all. I don't want to be limited to just chalk. All right, now I have this, and I have this little flap here that I gotta get off, but, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my, my scissor to just cut quick some of this off. This is the same napkin that we used the other night in the Napkin Lovers Club. You guys, I love it all. I love the napkins, I love rub-on transfers, I love regular stencils, I love chalk couture stuff. I love it all. Why do you, why, we don't have to choose. We can have it all. All right, this is a little cumbersome. I call it the heart cleavage. <laughs> this spot where the little point is for the heart. A little hard to get a square peg in a heart-shaped hole, a square sanding block into a heart-shaped hole. I could grab my other, I have these really cool little needle files for intricate things. But mama's being lazy. I'm just going to keep going with what I got. Well, I got the heart cleavage is done. I call it the heart cleavage. That little point in the heart. I don't know why I came up with that word some someday years ago, a long time ago, and it just stuck. <laughs> I found nail files work well. So I have metal um, needle files, they're called, that I got off Amazon. So they never, like, they don't they don't go bad. It's not a throwaway. You keep them forever. And they are different shapes. Some of them are triangular. Some of them are round. But they're skinny. 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 Ah, oh, oh darn. Ah, oh darn. I'll just get them out and show you. I love these things. Because they get into really tight little spots. And they never go bad. Like, they were a good investment. Again, in my Amazon store. Girlfriends, I will not steer you wrong. Anything in my Amazon store, it's something I tried. I don't just put stuff there for the sake of it. You guys, how cute is that? Now, we know, you and I know, that this is where I seamed the two napkins together, but I don't think when you're looking at this on my mantelpiece that you're gonna say, Gracie, I see your seam. No, you're not. No, you're not, girlfriend. Okay, that's really cute. Really cute. Do I need this too? The more Grace talks about it, Deborah says. I do need it all. We need it all. Listen, and I'm a big proponent of having a little bit of everything um, because I love combining supplies and using them together. For me, that's part of the creative challenge. Like, how can, how can I use this with that and make it super pretty? It's a Dollar Tree frame. You know, it's pretty inexpensive. So, um... How can we make it more pretty and more special? Um, I've got my little follow your heart. This is gonna pop in here and I think the color is gonna go really well. But what I wanna do first, we need to top coat this. How much, where am I at with time girls? I got a few minutes. Okay, we're gonna top coat this because it's a napkin and we wanna make sure it stays protected. 
it will absorb anything that gets on top of it. So I always use the, the just like the example, like if you have grandkids, sweet little grandkids, and they come over and they're eating chocolate chip cookies, or you've given them a few Hershey kisses and they get chocolate on their fingers. And then they say, Nana, did you make this? And they pick it up with chocolate. Chocolate's gonna stay on that napkin, girlfriend, unless you top coat it. So I'm gonna put a quick top coat. And this is, I'll show it to you in a minute. This is the one that I have that has the glitter embedded in it. So it's gonna make it kind of shiny and pretty because we love a little glistening sparkle, right? Napkin Lovers Club members, here's another way that you can use this design of napkin if you haven't yet used your napkin from the, from the craft class that we had the other night. The napkin class we had inside that group. So I am just literally painting on there some of this. It is a little milky white when it goes on, just like Mod Podge. This is not Mod Podge. This is Americana Decoupage, but it's a glitter decoupage medium. So you can use it for glue, but you can also use it for a top coat, which is how I normally use it because it's just so stinking pretty. And it adds just a little bit of shimmer. So we're gonna get this on here and let it dry. And then I was, I was thinking I wanted to jazz up these flowers even a little bit more, but we'll see if we have time for that. In the meantime, let me look at your comments and see what questions I'm missing or that you have. Um, actually, I could come right over this and top coat it too. I could just, I could just do both of them. That way they have the same sheen. Well, it's, it's a matter of what do you want, right? If you want this to be matte, find a matte top coat, not a glitter. This one's glittery. Um, if you want it to be super glossy, go find your glitter. Oh, you know, the only thing with this girl's I better not. Here, let me tell you why. I almost made an error there. Here's why we don't wanna do this. This is not paint that I used, it's chalk paste. And I just told you a minute ago, chalk paste is erasable. This is exactly what we talked about last night in the VIP craft club that I gave you the, the link to. It, it's exactly what we talked about last night. Let me give you the, those links again. Um, this is a chalk paste. It will stay permanent on anything that you put it on. It, it's Once it's dry, even though it's a chalk, like, like a chalkboard, like chalk that you used at school, even though it's made out of chalk and water, it dries to the touch. So it's not gonna budge on you at all once you get it on there. But if I wet it, I can erase it. If I wet it, I can erase it off. Now I can't erase it off paper because paper is gonna absorb the wetness and it's just gonna get all mucked up. But I can erase it off anything non-porous like glass, mirrors, the front of your microwave. A lot of ladies like to do it on, like in their laundry room, on their washer and dryer. There's some really cute phrases you can put on there. Um, and chalkboards, which was the original surface that Chalk Couture created this paste for. Even though it's erasable, I don't want this to erase, so I'm gonna top coat it. However, if I go in with a brush that has a wet medium on it and I brush it, it's gonna reactivate that paste. It's now dry, but the, the Mod Podge or the decoupage medium will reactivate it and then it'll smear on you. So you can make this permanent, just spray it. Just use a spray top coat. Truly? If it's not gonna get wet, you don't really need to do anything with it. It'll be just fine the way it is. Marilyn just ordered a mini kit. Yay, you'll love it, you'll love it. And, and it is so fun to play with and to use. It's very versatile. We have erasable paste and permanent ink. Do I have paper? I do, I have a napkin in my hair. <laughs> napkin lovers. I'm wearing my napkins now, girls. Oh my gosh, sporting that napkin for sure. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious, Ruthie. Hey, Ruthie. My old time friend, I'm glad you ordered that. I'm so into it, Kelly, that I'm wearing it, right? Maybe I should make myself a napkin shirt. That would be, so you know how people make clothes out of duct tape? Maybe we could do it with napkins. <laughs> a napkin on her melon. Oh my God, Dana, check it off. That's hilarious. <laughs> it was like stuck right, right under my hair. It must have been on my finger and I, I went to push my hair back. That is hilarious. Link, um, Rhonda, I put the link in the comments for you. I will do it one more time. 
I have a link to my free craft group that is specifically for Chocotour. That's the only thing that craft group. I have two free craft groups, one just for Chocotour and one for everything else, like all the other general crafts. Um, so I just gave you that link again and that comment that I just posted, it also has in it the, um, the link if you want to grab a Try Me kit, that $7.95 Try Me kit. And that's a flat fee. There's no, there's no shipping added to that. I'm trying to look for the comment. Can you guys see it? Because I'm not seeing it. What the, what the, what? <laughs> Come on, Facebook. Stop messing with me. <laughs> Why does it do this? It just, it just acts so, it's just so mean sometimes. I am wearing an apron because I have my new, this is a Chocotour shirt. I chalked this on the other night here on the page. We used a Chocotour design and some ink on my shirt to put that on there. And then I showed you guys yesterday inside the craft club, the free craft club, how to heat set that. So when I wash the shirt, it won't go away. How cool is that? It's the best. It's the best. And I've been doing this for a long time, you guys, since the company started, basically. I've been a designer for almost five. It's been like four and a half years. I didn't hurt my head, Vivian. You thought it was like a bandage. Isn't that funny? Like a cute little, a cute little napkin band-aid. She's not seeing it. Janice isn't seeing it. Janice, I'm going to share it again. Here it comes right now. I just shared it. <laughs> Bam. It's, it should be. Are you seeing it? <laughs> Becca said, I watched you do that shirt. Hey, Becca just ordered um, one of those little craft um, sample kits, like the little DIY mini try me kit. How are you guys not seeing that comment? What is the what? What, what? All right, I need an answer, please. Karen from New Hampshire. Hey, my New Hampshire friend. I grew up in the Boston area. I got a brother who lives in Bedford. A sister who lives in Lawrence, right below you. I grew up just north of Boston. So welcome, welcome. I live in North Dakota now, but that's where I grew up and that's where most of my family still is. I cannot see this comment, you guys. Can you see it? What is going on? It's not coming up. Friends, friends, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to solve this problem. Here we go. I'm gonna try one more time. Copy link. <laughs> I'm not gonna push myself. I was sharing both, both of them, but I'm not gonna share both of them. I'm gonna share one of them right now and see if this shows up. Send. Can you see that? <laughs> Testing. Listen, our laundry in our laundry room, which is upstairs, sometimes um, it doesn't work and we have to shut it off like downstairs to reset it. My husband goes down to the room downstairs and he flips all the switches in the electrical panel and he'll say, now, like now is it off? And I'll be like, nope, now is it off? You see it, Terry? Thank goodness. Because why? Why was it acting so goofy? So that link that I just gave you is the link to my VIP club, the free club. Go in there, at least at the very least. Maybe I can grab the other one for you too. Go in there and then, yeah. Go in there and then you can ask me in there. I will post the link to, it's acting so weird. <laughs> I will post the link to the Try Me Kit. I'm grabbing the Try Me Kit link now because it worked on my iPad. Who would have known? Like, so my, um, my iPad's not working. Wasn't that lovely? It's brand new. Here, here comes the Try Me Kit link. I hope you can see it. There it is, someone said. Okay, now I see it. So I gave you both. The VIP group, that link will take you just into Facebook for the VIP group. The other one's gonna take you to grab that little $7.95 kit so you can make, try this out for yourself. All right, back to the project. This is probably dry by now. See how technology just eats our time? Look at, I'm not going to, I'm not going to top coat this because I can spray top coat it. I don't feel like I need to, um, but I, I'm glad that came up because the paste is erasable on non-porous surfaces, glass mirror chalkboards. But it, it, you can just leave it on a porous surface like paper. And if you really want it to top coat it, just spray it. Then we have ink, which you can use. This is like I'm flashing you. You can, wait, you can use it on your shirts. And it's permanent. You can make it permanent by heat setting it. Oh my goodness. 
That's stinking cute. Now, I think raffia bow would be really cute on here. What do you think? What do you think? I ordered the sample kit. Ruthie, congratulations. Oh, and I just saw like something flashed across my screen that Marilyn, Marilyn Whiting just grabbed one too. Yay. Yeah, the shirt turned out really cute, right? So the fun part is there's like hundreds of designs and, and the new stuff for spring is coming out in a couple of weeks, but there's these incredible freebies this month. There's three major freebies. They only do it a couple of times a year. I talked all about it in the craft group last night. So go into the craft group and watch that um, video because I, I told you all about the VIP bundle where you're getting a ton of stuff for just a little bit of money. I would spray it with just any, like I use Mod Podge spray top coat. Um, they have a matte and they have a glossy. So I usually just use Mod Podge spray because I, I really like that one. And I can get it at Walmart. It's easy. It came out cute, right, Marilyn? Debbie, she says it doesn't work. I'm going to try to go back because that makes me sad that that's not working for you guys. So Debbie Dunham, I'm going to try to go back and look at the comments and try to private message. I mean, it's a little hard with all of you here. I'll try to go through and private message you that link, but that's a bummer that it's not working. Copy and paste it, Lynn said. Lynn, thank you for that suggestion. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. Hold on a second, girls. I'm thinking... A little bow would be fantabulous. Do we have time? Hold on, we might not have time. We've done so much chit-chatting. I'm out of time, you guys, I'm over time. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. I am gonna put a bow on this. I'll take a picture and I'll share it. In the meantime, if you need help with any of those links, I'm sorry they're not working. Please message me, but I gotta go. I gotta be respectful of whoever's on next in the Craft Round the Clock group. You guys, many blessings. Thanks to all of you for being here. I got some names in the prize basket. I'll grab another replay name like tomorrow the next day when I get to it. Um, and in the meantime, have a beautiful blessed day. Go make something pretty that brings your heart joy. That's my big goal for you. And if I can help you along the way by teaching skills and techniques and introducing you to new stuff, I'm happy to do it. Bye guys.